Okay, I'm gonna make a quick video here and show you how I'm gonna prepare the new, um, one of the new beds that I have. So this is a 16 by three foot bed, so 48 square feet. Uh, we've we've had a lot of rain, so things have shifted. The wood's moving around a little bit, but once I get the the dirt in here, it'll be fine. <clears throat> so I went to Asheville yesterday to pick up azomite, and I asked three times if they had the right kind. They did not, so I got stuck buying one of these. I'm going to have one half of these bags and one half of the granulated um, azomite per bed because I'm running low and I don't know when I have time to go back to Asheville. Um, one of the other things I, I will be putting in is I will be putting in 50 pounds of green jersey sand. So that has trace minerals in it also. So there's a 50 pound bag. There's also couple of things in here there's potash um, calcium oxide magnesium iron 20% iron um, uh, you know so that's pretty good stuff to bury the soil I'm not doing 20% but because um, I'm running low on perlite but I mean vermiculite but there'll be two and a half bags so eight cubic feet of vermiculite this is um, McGarry's 534 organic non manure based um, fertilizer. I usually put um, five of these Dixie cups spread across the entire bed, um, halfway down and then on the top. One last thing I'm going to be doing because I have to use some lower quality soil is I'm going to be using lower quality soil on the bottom. And I actually obtained a four cubic foot bag of compressed rock wool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rock wool in with some of the soil to aerate it and then I'll show some more of this later but this is some of the worm castings that I picked up yesterday this is about 300 pounds of worm castings so I'll be um, putting some of those in also <clears throat> so the goal is to get both of these beds full today so that in the event of more rain this week, all the dirt can settle in. And then I need to get some plants. This will most likely be tomatoes. I'm going to plant um, marigolds here in the next week. Because I think some of the soil that I have has um, root knot nematodes in it. And um, so I need to fix that problem. So I'm going to plant about 100 marigolds and see what happens. Okay, I've added a bag and a half of vermiculite. I've added um, C90, I forgot to mention that before, about 25 pounds of Jersey green sand, about 30 pounds of azomite, and, and I'm going to mix this in and then continue to add more compost.